We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It's another day that God has given us. The power of God is manifest today, more than ever before. We are seeing a change in the lives of many people around the world and it is amazing. It is a change that only God can bring. A spiritual change for the better. God loves you, my dear friend. And that's something that you should never doubt. And His power is available to all who believe. And our faith should rest on a demonstration of the power of God. This is what I want to talk to you about today. So let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit in your own words. Let's take a moment to welcome the Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come and speak to us today. Teach us something new, something amazing, something wonderful, and lead us closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 1 to verse 5. It says, And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. My dear friend, I want to start by saying many people They are looking for fancy, eloquent words. They are looking for a fancy and eloquent message with very big words that they don't understand. And they think that because that is fancy and eloquent, they think that is from God. They are looking for something that sounds so complicated and something that is so magnificent in words and sounding. And because of that, they think it is from God. I tell you, my dear friend, many people miss the greatest spiritual blessings because they are looking for a complex solution to find them. When actually they are attained in the most simplest manner. It says over here, And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom. Many people are looking for excellency of speech and of wisdom. They are looking for people who, when they talk, It sounds so excellent. They don't even look to discern the move of the Holy Spirit or the fruits of the Spirit. They just want to hear excellency of speech. Some people are looking for earthly wisdom. And they attribute this to God. But if you base the vessel or the messenger that you listen to based on excellency of speech and wisdom, then you can be deceived. You should rather base it on looking for the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Now what goes on to you, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. 
My dear friend, to many people who are learned, the gospel seems so simple, and this is why some struggle to believe. What Jesus did on the cross, to them in all their wisdom, it makes no sense. But to us who are born again, it makes all the sense in the world. I'll read this once again. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Once again, we see this expression concerning the words. If you are looking for enticing words of man's wisdom, you can be led astray. There are people who can preach to you for five to ten hours, saying big fancy words, but at the end of the day, they are saying nothing. But there are some who can speak to you for two minutes and say something so simple. And yet that simple thing can bring the biggest change in your life. My speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in a demonstration of the Spirit and of power. The Holy Spirit of God is moving today. He is touching people today. He is changing lives today. We have seen it happen. We have seen miracle after miracle. We have seen signs, wonders, and miracles. We have seen testimonies. God is moving today. You don't need to look for enticing words that are empty of God. You need to look for the word of God that is spirit and life, full of the Holy Spirit and power. It goes on and says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. This means that your faith should not be based just on a theoretical knowledge of God, but on actually knowing that He exists. In other words, having an encounter with God, having a personal experience so much so that you know like you know like you know like you know that there is a God. He speaks and He lives. My dear friend, may your faith be based on the fact that God is real. May you have an encounter with God. May the grace of God make a way for you that you may experience His signs, His wonders and His miracles. I want to pray for you today that the Holy Spirit will move and touch you and that you will have an encounter with God and that your faith will be renewed once again in the name of Jesus Christ. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy that is released in abundance. We thank you for another day that you've given us, a day to live to the fullest, a day to press on, a day to press in, a day to receive from you. And we are truly grateful. We thank you. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your love and your grace is sufficient. We are grateful. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the message of the cross, which is not foolishness to us who believe but it is a demonstration of power for what man was unable to do for thousands and thousands of years you did by sending your son Jesus Christ to come and die for us. And we give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence now. As we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you connect in faith comment and agree, believe and receive. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Let your Holy Spirit just begin to move over my dear friend right now and touch my dear friend. 
Wherever my dear friend needs a miracle, do a miracle. Whether this is healing, whether this is deliverance from hurt and pain and from bitterness, whether this is deliverance from attacks of the enemy, bring deliverance in my dear friend's life. Move over, my dear friend. Touch, my dear friend. Bless, my dear friend. Set, my dear friend, who's watching this video on fire for you. So on fire that they will never give up, they will never give in. And let, my dear friend's faith be based on a demonstration of your power. In other words, let my dear friend's faith be based on a divine and true encounter with you. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, we've come to the end of this message. Until next time, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.